what I mean by any HDMI port is I mean actually any HDMI port. So you want to go ahead here and now you want this thing. So hold my tablet up. Now you want to plug the HDMI end into the side of your TV. Just like the dock, it can go only go in one way. So I'm going to do that off camera. Now I'm going to plug it in to so any HDMI port. So your TV may only have one HDMI. So you just want to plug it HDMI in to the HDMI in on your TV. Good. So now once you're done with that, you're officially done with your Nintendo Switch dock. So now I'm going to show you the attributes of all the things that come in your Nintendo Switch kit. So you come with the Joy-Con grip. So basically what the Joy-Con grip does is you just want to... Okay, so for the Joy-Cons and removing them, you just want to press this top button. You want to slide up. Same thing with the other. Now once those are on, these Joy-Cons have some rail on them, which lines up with the rail in here. So you just want to go on the rail and slide it down until you hear a click. Now same thing with the blue one. So they only go in one way again. So they're just going to go like that. And you're officially completed with that job. So that's what a Joy-Con grip does. Now, here's a cool feature about these Joy-Cons. They're called Joy-Cons. Or you can call them Joy-Con controllers or Joy controllers. Whatever you want to call them. So these little things are something they want to be careful about. This is if you want to use both the joy cons separately in two player mode double player mode so you can get extra you can get more of these and more of these joy cons if you want to get more players or you can also get a few third party controllers and pro controllers and whatnot so that is what you do with these so now you want to look closely on them you're going to see a little plus and on this this Joy-Con here, it says plus. So these two pluses need to line up with each other. Like that. Now you want to slide. So you want this, and then you want to slide this off from the bottom end. And you just want to wiggle it. Wiggle it left and right until it goes in. And then slide it down. So now there is a lock function, but it doesn't work very well. To lock it to never come off, you want to hold this hold this here next to the home button. And you want to push this in. Now this thing is not going anywhere. So your job is complete. Now same thing with the minus, except the other way around. So both minuses need to line up with, with each other. And you just want to slide it on the same way you did. So you can get these wrong. So you want to be re extra careful with these Joy-Con controllers. Because if you get them the wrong way, it's really, really hard to get them off. So I am actually going to tell, uh, show you a video. I'm going to make a video later about how to do these so just if you're worrying this is part two okay so part one was seven minutes if you want to go watch that one 
I'll tell you where it is. So you want to go to my channel, which is I dub so I space W A W A D I, and you just want to type that in. Then you're gonna find the suggestion of what channel you're gonna find. You wanna click on that suggestion? There's different ones. So you wanna click on the one that's correct. And then you want to go to my channel. And then you can see part one there. So, with that said, we're done with the official main setup. Now, we want to do the third party setup and testing. So, in order to test your Nintendo Switch. I have a screen protector on it, don't worry. In order to test your Nintendo Switch, you want to slide it in Nintendo Switch dock. So I'm going to show you that. So now you're just going to want to put it in to the little slot in the middle of the Switch dock. It just slides in. It only goes in one way. It's not going to let you. It's not going to dock in the other way. It's not going to show on the TV. So it's only one way compatible. I'm going to drop it in. Now, depending on your TV, so in so, on some TVs, it'll it'll straight up turn on the TV. But on this TV, you're going to have to use your TV remote. And you see this little red button? This red button. We'll click that. And your TV should turn on. So, I'm just going to wait. And as you see, it's turning on. Now, once you've got it there, you want to tap the little black button on the side of the Nintendo Switch to turn that on too. And as you can see, there it is. It's on the TV. So now you can relax and play with your Joy-Con grip or any third-party controller or pro controller or whatever extra Joy-Con or anything. So, that is the main, the testing part of it done. Now, we are going to move on to the third-party setup and anything. So, I'm going to show you what you are able to get that works. So, now... There are way too many ways to list in this video, so I'm just going to go over them really quickly. Option A is to get a either third official Nintendo licensed um, PDP Faceoff Deluxe wired, control, wired Pro Controller. Or you can get yourself a proper Nintendo Pro Controller that doesn't have the wire on it. So right now I have this PDP Faceoff. I don't have a um, wireless pro controller, so I can't show you that. I cannot show you that, but in order to sync up a wireless pro controller, you want to go to the USB 2 ports on the dock. The USB 2, 2 ports on the dock, and you want to plug in your, your USB-C cable that came with your pro controller. You want to plug it in. It'll only go in one way, so be feel free to mess it up. Um, going in the wrong way. It won't go in the wrong way, so I'm just kidding. So, then you would want to plug the other end into the USB-C port at the top of the Pro Controller. And then you would be able, the Pro Controller lights on the bottom would Go up and it'll show up as a player. Then you can remove that wire and play wirelessly if you want. And if you're a serious gamer, you want to go to system settings, controllers, no, controllers and sensors. You want to go to pro controller wired communication. By default, it's off. You just want to click on it or press A on the controller to turn it on. So once that's done, if you connected by a wired connection, it will become a wired con controller and have as, as less lag as possible. So with that said, I'm going to show you how to connect up 
a few third-party controllers. So this would also work with a Pokemon controller from the Wii U. It's the same process. So you just want to grab your USB wire. So it needs to be USB 3 or 2. It doesn't matter. So you want to grab your USB port here. As I just showed you. This USB. And you want to plug it in to either the USB 3 port or the USB 2 port on the Switch the switch dock so i'm going to show you I'll plug it in so it'll only go in one way you want to find the usb port so if you don't know where the usb 2 ports are you can just go for the usb 3. so i'm going to go for the usb 3 in the back it's the same process for all usb ports so feel free to put it in Put it in. So if you're buying it from someone, they might say it's faulty. So if it's faulty, you just want to do it yourself or call somebody, like I said in the beginning. But you want to get that port in real good. Now you can route it, route it the same way you did with the other one. And good! You are officially completed! So, after that, so look at the setup here. So, I I went into the dock in here. So, I want to open that up. Then remember I showed you that USB port that's inside it. I just plugged it in there. Now you have this controller set up. So, you can con connect up to three of these controllers. So I'm not going to connect to three, but two. So you can buy yourself USB hubs to connect up even more than three. But I don't have one of those. But now I'm going to connect up this little controller. So here's a red one. Here's the red controller. Now you can plug these into the side of the switch. Now good, now those controllers are gonna work by a wire connection. Now here's a really, 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 really insane trick that you can do with the Nintendo Switch and it is just amazing. So now I had, we had, we finally had these three, these two, Xbox 360 controllers. So we decided to use them on the Nintendo Switch by using just very little parts. So the only parts you really need are are these. So you want this Mayflash wireless controller adapter. Very cheap. Also, I'm going to get your so we have this one lying around, his PC wireless gaming receiver. Pretty much any receiver is gonna work. Not the wave bird though. So this is a USB on the go cable. So this allows you con to convert USB-C, the small USB connector, into the big USB, USB actual USB connector. This thing is awesome. So, this allows you to use the bottom port on the switch when it's not in the dock. That's the USB-C. And you want to convert it to USB so then you can plug this adapter into it. Like this. So, now I'm going to show you how to connect it up in regular or docked mode. So, if you want to do it in regular mode... So, this is also a one-way connector. Just connects up there. Just want to plug the Mayflash wireless controller thing 
or whatever it's called into the uh, USB on the go now what you want to do is you want to find your USB port on the wireless controller adapter and you just want to plug the receiver into that adapter so depending on the length of the wire it may vary of how much time it'll take for the controllers to sync up so this is about four to five feet so here look you got this controller thing here so this connector it'll go into the bottom so this is reversible like inside the dock so you just want to plug it in so this this on the go cable came with the my flash wireless controller adapter or you can buy longer connectors if you want to lengthen your wire a bit on amazon or ebay now you just want to plug your wireless con the uh, the duo connect connector into your Nintendo Switch. That's it. Now you want to grab your 360 controller. Make sure it has batteries. You just want to simply turn the controller on so it's flashing. It's not going to recognize it up straight away. I need to turn the switch on. Now there we go, the receiver started flashing. Good. And as you can see, there the Xbox lit up as player one, which is good for us. Now you can get multiple wireless controller adapters to connect up multiple of these Xbox 360 controllers up to your Nintendo Switch. And you can even get you can even get the Xbox One and Wii controller to work using so if in order to get the Wii controller to work you just wanna get the um, 8 bit do version of this. If you want the Xbox One controller then you wanna get a Coronas Max. It's the same process for all of them. I'm gonna plug it into this duo. So the right now I have the wireless, the Mayflash one in, and this is allowing me to use these 360 controllers. So if you have a wired 360 controller, don't plug a receiver in, plug the wire for the 360 controller into the back of the adapter and it'll work fine. Just like any third party wired control controller. So here's a fun fact. Only four players, up to four players can play in a game such as Mario Kart and whatever. But you can actually get eight controllers. Um, actually, you can get 12 total controllers connected up to the Nintendo Switch. But only four is gonna, four are gonna work in a game. So, with that said, now I'm going to show you some gameplay with these third-party controllers. So, I only have five controllers. You can get more, like I said, up to 12. So, I'm going to show you them all working. So, now, I'm going to um, fire up the switch on the TV. So, now, I forgot to show you the controller adapter TV setup. So I'm just gonna uh, take the receiver and now this on the side of the dock you have USB ports and you just want to plug this in to the USB port on the Nintendo Switch dock I mean you just want to plug them in oh wait one fun fact is with the joy con one not fun fact is with the joy cons that you're being used separately you have no d-pad so that's a bit sad but you can work with it so now i'm just gonna plug the wireless controller adapter into the switch dock
can barely get this controller uh, USB wire to fit in. I can barely get the USB wire to fit in, but it barely does fit in. So with that, now I'm going to unwrap my controller from here. So the controllers I bought a program program button so you can programmable buttons on the back. So you can, for example, one can be B, the other can be A, or whatever combination. But these programmable buttons actually cannot be programmed because for some reason the switch doesn't allow you to program wired controllers. Isn't that weird? You can't connect up, you can't program the buttons. So whatever they're going to be, you're going to have to work with them. So, now I'm going to show you. So, there's a lot of spaghetti now, but you can clean that up using, for example, hair clips and rubber bands and other stuff. So, with that said, now I'm going to fire up the switch, put it in the switch dock. So, now let's go ahead. Now you want to make sure to put your switch in towards the back. So I've got a lot, I mean a lot of accessories for my Nintendo Switch. I mean I got a whole starter pack for, so I got a travel case, AC, travel case, AC cable, pair or earbuds, pair Joy-Con, Silicon grips, red or blue, a game card holder, a stylus pen, thumbstick, two black, one red and one blue, tempered glass screen protector, soft cleaning cloth, and that's just the tip of the gold bowl. I got PDP um, controllers, I got... I got game cards. I got this USB on the go. I got the wireless controller adapter, the receiver, the 360 controllers. I mean a lot. The TV. I got the parental controls. A lot of stuff. Can't even count how many I have. I don't even know. I have Nintendo Wii box, but I don't know where the thing went. It's kind of weird because it probably is somewhere. I just don't know where it is. My TV allows four U um, HDMI ports, so if I can get that running, then I can have two of them, two HDMI ports occupied, and then two others for whatever else I can find that needs HDMI. I'm going to show you the whole setup works awesome. So here's something cool. For Samsung tablets, you can actually use the USB on the go to convert the USB into USB-C. So you have both ends USB-C. You can use one in one USB-C tablet and the other in the other USB-C tablet. And you can transfer data, for example, for example, pictures and other stuff. Photos and screenshots and whatever. Whatever you have user information and whatever. So, with that said, I'm going to show you the whole setup. So, with everything running, I can do. So, I'm going to fold you. I'm going to fold you. A little bit back so you can see the TV. Wait. I know what I'm doing. Should I put the TV remote? Lean it up. There we go. So now you guys are going to see the whole setup. We're connecting every single controller. 
extra joy cons or joy cons you want to just slide them onto the switch like i showed you extra joy cons or stuff or for whatever reason you want to connect it up to a different switch well i don't know why but you can so now we are gonna um I'm just gonna show you like you can some things you can do on the switch. I'm just gonna get these set up. Uh, so in controllers by default, your Joy Cons are gonna be both in a pair like this. So if you wanna change them to two Joy Cons, you wanna go to here to controllers, change grip order. Now you want to press either one of the trigger buttons, wait, then press both trigger buttons, or you can just press both trigger buttons first, then it'll sync up straight away. So there's quite a, a lot of ways. So that's one. And if you want to connect up other controllers such as these third party ones it's even easier you don't even need to wait for the same time just tap any button there it's up we popped up on screen and if you're wondering you can only connect up four controllers on this screen why is this not I remember this wasn't in properly. There. Now I'm going to tap a button. There we go. You can only connect up four controllers on that screen. But if you want to connect up an extra, like up to 12 controllers, and you want to do up to eight controllers, then I want to do it here. So, four controller, nine, 10, 11, and 12. You want to have two controllers on the switch itself. Um, slide on they they're slid on the switch and then you want to have a USB controller plugged into the bottom USB port of the switch so this if you want 13 things then you want to do everything off screen no I mean 12 things you want to do everything off screen so here I'm going to show you all of them so here they are now, I'm not joking. I didn't draw a pro controller on there. This is real. So I have five controllers connected up. So right now my... So for other things you can do with the Nintendo Switch is, for example, you want to adjust your screen size and TV settings because right now my screen size is a bit too big. So you can also change other things like TV resolution, resolution. So you can do 720p, 1080p, or 480p. Depending on your TV, if you sometimes cannot um, use 1080p or 720p or 480p for some reason because your TV is really old, can't put out that much resolution because of the small screen or other faults. Maybe a faulty um, TV resolution change. So it's just stuck on 480p for some reason. Or other things. So 480p, 720p is HD, but not full HD. So if a TV can't support 1080p, then 720p would still be awesome. So games like Zelda would still look awesome. So there I clicked on 720p, and this is 720 so it's a bit worse, but I can still live with it. 4, 480p is the worst, so there's 480p. So you, you can still live with 480p. There's nothing bad about 480p, but you can do it. P, on the Switch itself, you cannot put in you can't do 1080p because it's not supported on the tablet because of the small screen so you can do this so 40p is this much 
And this is 720p. I'm changing it. That's 720. And that is 1080. And here you want to go. So you can adjust screen size. So right now it's 100%. You can align the edges of the arrows with the edge of your TV. So it only goes this small, which is kind of bad because like... Other old CRT televisions are like this small, so it's kind of hard because on a CRT TV it would be automatic, but it would still work. So if you were to go to this like a screen size thing, you would have to disconnect all the HDMI ports from the TV and then reconnect everything. Then it would be back to normal, like 70, 60, 50, 50. 45, 43, 40, 40, 3.5 or whatever. So right now I am gonna put it, so I'm gonna align the arrows. So 96% is good for me. So now I'm on 96%. Now the arrows are perfectly aligned. Now you can see TV sound, change it. Now uh, here's some other things, change button mapping. This is what I'm saying. So those two pro controllers that say cannot remap, that's kind of bad. The wire controller, the program buttons. But the controllers you connect up with the May Flash wireless controller adapter, you can remap. So this is layer 5 Pro Controller. You can change this one. So on Xbox, A is actually B. So if you want to change that to become B is actually B, you want to go here. You can change it. So right now, so this is B and this is actually A. You want to go to A button. I want to make A button B button. B button. A button. Y button. X button. X button. Y button. So you can also do other things. Such as capture button, you can make it disable. So now the capture button does not do anything. You can disable all the buttons if you want. And mute out.